Okay, uh, EC Street Preacher here. Um, we are outside the uh, Cathedral of St. Peter and Paul. I'm going to get a, a shot of the thing they've got right here. Now, unfortunately, we've got some weather issues today. We got some rain. I'm going to try to keep this uh, lens as clear as I can. Uh, this is one thing you got to deal with, you know. The word's got to go forth, you know, no matter what the weather's like. So I'm going to try to keep this clear, but, you know, at least you can hear well. And uh, I'm going to get a shot here of the signs we've got. This is, of course, a, a Catholic rebuke that we're doing. This needs to be fixed. No, 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 not you. You stay yeah, where you are. Mind. We want him in the middle. Yeah, my okay, and we're thinking they're going to they're gonna be coming this way to get into the church. So we're going to hit them as they come in through the church. Yeah, this is going to be a real problem. I mean, it's one of the things you got to do. I'm going to try to... Keep it as clear as I can. Like I say, the weather's against us today. Okay, I might stop the commentary because I think Ruben's getting ready to start. I'm going to try one more uh, shot at drawing the camera lens before he starts. A real church service is outside today. Here. Real church service is outside today, right here. I mean, when are the Catholics going to have a church called Saint Molester? When are the Catholics going to have a Saint Molester church? What other church has spent millions of dollars? to protect their priests. And you have the audacity to actually say you're a church from God. Time for you to repent. Time for you to go and know the God of the Bible. Not one Catholic today will walk in to Mass with a Bible. That should speak volumes that this church doesn't believe in the Bible. Time for you to repent and know the God of the Bible. You know more about your sacraments than you do the Bible. The Bible says, contend for the faith. Why don't you priests come out and contend for the faith as the Bible clearly says? Mary is not the co-redeemer. Mary is not salvation. There is no purgatory. We don't have confession on Saturday and assume you're going to go to Mass and take the Lord's Supper. The Lord's Supper, the Bible says, is to be done in remembrance. It is not the actual body and blood of Jesus. Shame on you, Catholics. Shame on you for bowing down to Mary. Shame on you. Your church is wicked and an abomination before God. Time for you to repent. Not one Catholic is going to be walking into this building with a Bible. That speaks volumes of Catholicism. We all know Islam is a religion of bloodshed. Your church, pal, is filled with bloodshed. Your church is filled with bloodshed. Shame on you for not knowing the God of the Bible. You are wicked. Your priests are homos. Your priests are child molesters. But what do you expect? when you got the false gospel. You don't know the God of the Bible. 
The Bible teaches in Revelation, Jesus is outside of the church. He is banging on the door of the church. Much like today, God is trying to get your attention once again. Keep it locked as long as you can. Time to know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Mary cannot save you. Mary is not the co-redeemer. Your sacraments are useless. The Bible says you know more commandments made by men than you do God. You Catholics, with all of your idols, have broken the second commandment in both spirit and letter of that law. But then again, you Catholics have removed the second commandment. Shame on you. You ought to find another church, one that their priests don't molest little boys. Time for you to repent. This is your wake-up call. Mother Teresa is burning in hell. Your Mother Teresa is burning in hellfire right now. And that's going to happen to you if you don't repent and know the God of the Bible. Time for you to repent, Catholic. Turn to the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Shame on you, you wicked pervert. Shame on you, you wicked pervert. God's going to throw you into hell and rightly so. God's going to put you into hellfire and rightly so. You think Mary's going to be your redeemer? You don't know the God of the Bible. You are lying. That was a you are nothing in. more than a snake, a vapor, and you're going to you're going to burn, and rightly so. Yeah. Time to repent. Time to get right with God. Where do we find the word Pope in the Bible? Where do we find the word Cardinal? in the Bible. Where do we find the word none in the Bible? You have outgrown the word of God. Time for you to repent and get right with Jesus Christ. Time for you to honor the God of the Bible. Shame on you for having a church that endorses homosexuality. Shame on you for having a church that endorses child molestation. Time for you to repent and know the God of the Bible. You are wicked in God's eyes. God's gonna put you into hell. Your religion will send you to hell. Your religion is filled with bloodshed. Time for you to repent. How many millions of dollars has your church given to protect your priests that are touching those little altar boys? And God only knows what they're doing in a third world country where they don't have no place to go. And your church is hiding them. Your church is endorsing them. This is what happens when you allow homosexuals inside of your clergy. Shame on you. You are wicked in God's eye. Nowhere do we find Rome being a holy land, the Vatican. It's all the Israel, that's what God considers. It's all, that would be one more of what God would consider a holy piece of real estate. Not Rome. You've lost your mind. Time to know the God of the Bible, people. Notice, not one Catholic is walking into Mass with a Bible. Not one Catholic is walking into Mass with one Bible. Because you don't read the Bible. You reject the God of the Bible. Most of you Catholics today, your, your wives rule your house because you have a God that's a female. Time to repent and know the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Time for you to repent. Repent now. Time for you to know Jesus. Your rosary deeds are going to choke you right in the hell. Your rosary beads are going to choke you right in the hellfire. Time for you to repent. Time for you to obey the God of the Bible. Hellfire when you die. Those 
Images, those statues have eyes but cannot see. Those statues have a lip but cannot talk. Those statues have feet but cannot rock. You are bowing down to a graven image. You are bowing down to an image made by somebody's hands. Those idols can't talk to you. Those idols can't look at you. Those idols can't hear your prayers. Those rosary beads are nothing. Time to repent and obey the God of the Bible. Your church is wicked. Time for you to repent. Your priests are wicked. Your nuns are wicked. Your pope is wicked. Time for you to repent. You've got so much bloodshed within your church, it is hard to believe you want to claim to know God. Time for you to repent. Time for you to get right with God. How many millions of dollars has your church given to people because your priests are molesting them? And you want to call this a holy place? This is unholy. You are wicked people. You know more about tradition than you do a holy God. Time for you to repent, Catholic. Nowhere in the Bible do we get ashes on forehead. Nowhere in the Bible do we pray to an idol. Nowhere in the Bible do we bow down and have hope in purgatory. There is no purgatory. There is only heaven or hell. Time to repent. Time for you to get right with God. There is a hellfire to pay. Catholicism makes Jim Jones seem normal. Time for you to get right with the God of the Bible. Time for you to repent of your sin. Time for you to cry out to God. Your confession on Saturday will not save you. Your Holy Eucharist will not save you. That Eucharist is not the body of Jesus. That Eucharist is not going to save you. Jesus Christ said, do such in remembrance of Him. That's not His actual blood. That's not His actual body. Unless you Catholics are a bunch of cannibals. Time for you to repent and know the God of the Bible. Your church is wicked. Your church will send you to hell. You don't know God. You just know emotion. You just know feelings. Time for you to repent and obey God. Heaven or hell when you die.